Hello everyone, this is Mr. Sports Law for YouTube Media. I have right here with me the coach for Hansville High School, Michael Chandler, who coaches at Hansville High School for baseball. They currently played a game earlier, but are still waiting on word on whether they're going to get to play the other one or not. But Michael, thank you for joining me today. Oh, thanks. Thanks, Gilbert. You're welcome. Uh, what got you interested in baseball? Um, I played it growing up. And it was just one of those things I did. I, I, we had some pretty good teams here when I played for, for Coach Jimmy Collins here. And, uh, when I got out of college, the job was open, and I, I couldn't turn it down. I've been here for 16 years. All right, well, tell me about your baseball playing days. Uh, I, I played here at Hansville for Coach Collins, and we, we had some pretty good teams. And, uh, you know, I, I played when I, from, from when I was little all the way up. But, uh, yeah. All right, so some players play baseball till they can't anymore, then move on to other things. What made you decide you wanted to coach baseball? Well, we coached a, a nine and ten year old team at the park, and we kind of was trying to get involved and help out at the park, and uh, mm -hmm. we kind of just fell in love with it and, and what we could do, and, and this job came open, and I, I figured it was for me. So. And you said you've coached this team for sixteen years now. Yes. Sir. All right. So as a coach, talk me through a typical day coaching on both non-game and on game day. Well, it's a lot of field work. Um, that's one thing I don't think baseball coaches get enough credit for is because in high school we're the field crew too. So, so we're usually doing a lot of field work and trying to get practice ready. Basically, I got these guys first and second period every day, and we're doing some kind of lifting, some kind of baseball. Mm -hmm. We come straight into practice after school for a couple hours. And okay, so what's it like on game day? Same kind of thing? Game day is a little more stressful, just trying to get the field perfect and, uh, and, and be a sports psychologist at the same time and make sure everybody's focused on what they're doing. As a baseball coach, what has been your best moment that you've been a part of? Um, I've got a couple good moments, man. We, we had some really good teams. Um, but we, you know, in 2015, we uh, they came out and we were ranked number one in the state. That was the first time in program history. Um, that team was really good, and we ran into a, a good team in the playoffs and got beat. And uh, and you know, and then four years later, we we had another team that went to uh, to the second round, game three of the second round, to the team that won the state championship a year or two later. And, and really, just you know, the thing that's special about it is. Is if you're here, there's going to be 15, 20 players that that play. They always come back, and they want the next group to do better. I think we did a really good job of making it a program and, and making the guys that come back. They want they don't want us to see us do worse. They want us to go farther than they do. Right. So in coaching, is there a difference in how you coach a game when it's say a county rivalry or matchup compared to say an area game? Um, areas, you know, where it's at, you know, that's every pitch matters in areas. It's, it's exciting. Mm -hmm. It's like a playoff baseball game. You know, the county rivalries, you know, we've got we're pretty close with Drew Bryson at West Point. And we have some, you know, we just have a good time getting to see those guys for a little bit when we play. All right. So, as a coach, what's the biggest challenge you face when trying to help kids learn the game of baseball? Uh, I think the question answer is that just the game of baseball is so complex and there's so many little things that matter. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I'll, I'll be the first to tell you, baseball is a boring sport. I mean, it's, it's hard to get it. You can go out in front field or left field or third base, second base, I mean, wherever. Yeah. Not get a game, not get a ball hit to you off for two and a half hours. And then when the game matters most, the ball's coming at you. Right. I think, I think that's the uh, – that's what I like about baseball, but that's hard to get a guy to stay focused and ready to go. Right, especially when you're going that long and something might not be hit to you. Absolutely. My last question I have for you, Coach, is if you can talk, if you could tell young kids anything as a word of encouragement, what would you tell them? Uh, just play, you know, get out and – and throw a ball and throw it up in the air and catch it. And, and that seems like that's what we did when we were little. And, and more and more so, you know, we get guys that can't throw in, in seventh and eighth grade. They can't catch a fly ball. And, you know, just throw, just play baseball, have a baseball in your hands and, and do something with it. All right. Well, thank you, Coach, for your time. I greatly appreciate it. That was Michael Chandler from Hansville High School's baseball team. They're fixing to play a uh, second game here. Um, if you will, please hit the like button. Please hit the subscribe button. And please hit the notification bell so you can be made aware of when I go live or when I have a special broadcast. Thank you again, and have a good evening. Peace out.